Welcome to Infinity AI. My name is Daniel, and I am the host of this channel. I am thrilled to share with you the second chapter of my book, Navigating the Gig Economy, Strategies for Success as a Freelancer. In the first chapter, we discussed understanding the gig economy and identifying your skills and interests to find the right gig for you. Now, in chapter two, we will be diving deeper into the topic of finding clients and building a professional network. As a freelancer, it's essential to have a solid network of clients and industry professionals to rely on for work and support. In this chapter, I will be sharing tips and strategies for building a professional network, finding clients, and marketing yourself effectively. So, join me as we explore the world of freelancing and take the next step in your journey to success. Chapter 2 Finding Clients and Building a Professional Network. In this chapter, we will be discussing how to find clients and build a professional network as a freelancer in the gig economy. One of the most important aspects of freelancing is finding clients. Without clients, you will not have any projects or income. There are several strategies that can be used to find clients, including Networking Building relationships with potential clients is key to finding work as a freelancer. Networking can be done in person, through social media, or on online platforms. Attend networking events, join professional organizations, and connect with other freelancers and industry professionals to build your network. Utilizing online platforms there are several online platforms that connect freelancers with clients, such as Upwork, Freelancer, and Fiverr. These platforms can be a great way to find short-term projects or one-off assignments. Cold pitching. Reaching out to potential clients directly can also be a great way to find work. Research companies or individuals that you would like to work with and send them a proposal or portfolio of your work. Building a website and social media presence. A professional website and social media presence can help attract clients and showcase your work. Make sure your website is easy to navigate and that it highlights your skills and portfolio. Use social media to connect with potential clients and to promote your services. Once you have clients, it's important to keep building your professional network. This can include reaching out to other freelancers for advice and support, attending industry events, and staying active on social media. A solid professional network can open doors to new opportunities, provide valuable resources and support, and help you stay informed about industry trends and developments. Additionally, building a strong reputation and client base can lead to repeat business and word-of-mouth referrals, which can be a valuable source of new clients. It's also important to maintain good communication and relationships with your clients, providing excellent services, and delivering your work on time. In this chapter, we have discussed how to find clients and build a professional network as a freelancer in the gig economy. We have covered strategies such as networking, utilizing online platforms, cold pitching, and building a website and social media presence to attract clients. We have also highlighted the importance of maintaining and growing your professional network and building a strong reputation and client base. In the next chapter, we will discuss strategies for managing your finances and taxes as a freelancer, which is crucial for your success in the gig economy. Marketing yourself and your services effectively. In this chapter, we will be discussing how to market yourself and your services effectively as a freelancer in the gig economy. One of the most important aspects of freelancing is marketing yourself and your services to potential clients. This includes creating a strong personal brand and showcasing your skills and expertise. Here are some strategies for marketing yourself effectively. Creating a professional website. A professional website is a must-have for freelancers. Your website should showcase your portfolio, highlight your skills and expertise, and provide information about your services. Make sure your website is easy to navigate and that it presents you in a professional manner. Utilizing social media. Social media can be a powerful tool for promoting your services and connecting with potential clients. Use platforms like LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram to showcase your work and connect with other professionals in your field. Building a strong personal brand. A strong personal brand can help you stand out in a crowded marketplace and attract clients. Your personal brand should reflect your unique selling points and the value you can offer to clients. Networking. 
Building relationships with potential clients is key to finding work as a freelancer. Attend networking events, join professional organizations, and connect with other freelancers and industry professionals to build your network. Creating case studies and testimonials, showcasing your work and the results you have achieved for clients can be a powerful way to market your services. Case studies and testimonials provide concrete examples of your skills and expertise and can be used to attract new clients. In this chapter, we have discussed how to market yourself and your services effectively as a freelancer in the gig economy. We have covered strategies such as creating a professional website, utilizing social media, building a strong personal brand, networking and creating case studies and testimonials. A solid marketing strategy can help you stand out in a crowded marketplace and attract clients. In the next chapter, we will delve into the importance of managing your finances and taxes, which is crucial for your success as a freelancer. Building a website and social media presence. In this chapter, we will be discussing how to build a website and social media presence as a freelancer in the gig economy. Having a professional website and a strong social media presence can help you attract clients and showcase your skills and expertise. Here are some strategies for building a website and social media presence. Building a professional website. A professional website is a must-have for freelancers. Your website should showcase your portfolio, highlight your skills and expertise, and provide information about your services. Make sure your website is easy to navigate and that it presents you in a professional manner. You can use website builders such as Wix or Squarespace to create your website or hire a developer to create a custom website. Utilizing social media. Social media can be a powerful tool for promoting your services and connecting with potential clients. Use platforms like LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram to showcase your work and connect with other professionals in your field. Make sure your social media profiles are professional, up-to-date, and consistent with your website. Optimizing your website and social media profiles for SEO. Optimizing your website and social media profiles for search engines will make it easier for potential clients to find you. Use keywords that describe your services. Add meta tags and use alt tags for images. Use relevant hashtags to increase visibility on social media. Building a strong personal brand. A strong personal brand can help you stand out in a crowded marketplace and attract clients. Your personal brand should reflect your unique selling points and the value you can offer to clients. Your website and social media profiles should be consistent with your personal brand. Creating valuable content. Creating valuable content such as blog posts or videos can help you establish yourself as an expert in your field and attract potential clients. Share your knowledge and insights on your website and social media profiles. In this chapter, we have discussed how to build a website and social media presence as a freelancer in the gig economy. We have covered strategies such as building a professional website, utilizing social media, optimizing for SEO, building a strong personal brand and creating valuable content. By following these strategies, you can create an online presence that will help you attract clients and showcase your skills and expertise. In the next chapter, we will discuss the importance of managing your finances and taxes, which is crucial for your success as a freelancer. Networking and building relationships with potential clients. In this chapter, we will be discussing the importance of networking and building relationships with potential clients as a freelancer in the gig economy. Networking and building relationships with potential clients is essential for finding work as a freelancer. Here are some strategies for networking and building relationships with potential clients. Attend networking events. Attend networking events in your industry, such as conferences, trade shows, and meetups. These events provide an opportunity to meet potential clients and other professionals in your field. Join professional organizations. Joining professional organizations can provide valuable resources and support, as well as opportunities to meet potential clients. Look for organizations that are relevant to your field and attend their events. Connect with other freelancers and industry professionals. Connect with other freelancers and industry professionals on social media, online forums, and through other channels. These connections can provide valuable resources and support as well as opportunities to meet potential clients. Follow up with potential clients. 
After meeting a potential client, follow up with them via email or phone. Send them a personalized message, include a link to your website and portfolio, and invite them to connect on LinkedIn. Provide value. Building relationships with potential clients is not just about selling your services, it's also about providing value. Share your knowledge and insights, offer to help with their projects, and connect them with other professionals in your network. In this chapter, we have discussed the importance of networking and building relationships with potential clients as a freelancer in the gig economy. We have covered strategies such as attending networking events, joining professional organizations, connecting with other freelancers and industry professionals, following up with potential clients and providing value. By following these strategies, you can create a professional network that will help you find work and build a successful freelancing career. In the next chapter, we will delve into the importance of managing your finances and taxes, which is crucial for your success as a freelancer. We will cover topics such as setting prices for your services, invoicing and receiving payments, and keeping track of expenses. Additionally, we will provide tips on how to set up a budget and create a financial plan that will help you manage your finances and taxes effectively. By the end of this chapter, you will have the tools and knowledge to manage your finances and taxes effectively and to build a successful freelancing career in the gig economy. Finding and Using Freelance Platforms In this chapter, we will be discussing how to find and use freelance platforms as a freelancer in the gig economy. Freelance platforms can be a great way to find short-term projects or one-off assignments as a freelancer. Here are some strategies for finding and using freelance platforms. Research platforms. Research different freelance platforms to find the ones that are most relevant to your field and that have the most potential clients. Popular platforms include Upwork, Freelancer, and Fiverr. Create a professional profile. Once you have found a platform, create a professional profile that showcases your skills, experience, and portfolio. Make sure your profile is up to date and that it presents you in a professional manner. Bid on projects. Look for projects that match your skills and experience, and bid on them. Be sure to tailor your bid to the specific project and client, and include a personalized message. Deliver high-quality work. Once you have been awarded a project, deliver high-quality work and communicate effectively with the client. This will help you build a positive reputation on the platform and attract more clients. Utilize the platform's features. Take advantage of the platform's features such as the ability to message clients, submit proposals, and receive payments. These features can help streamline the process of finding and working on projects. In this chapter, we have discussed how to find and use freelance platforms as a freelancer in the gig economy. We have covered strategies such as researching platforms, creating a professional profile, bidding on projects, delivering high-quality work, and utilizing the platform's features. By following these strategies, you can effectively use freelance platforms to find short-term projects or one-off assignments and grow your freelancing career. In the next chapter, we will delve into the importance of managing your finances and taxes, which is crucial for your success as a freelancer. That concludes Chapter 2, which I hope you enjoyed and from which you learned something useful today. In the next chapter, we will be diving into the topic of managing finances and taxes as a freelancer. This includes setting rates, negotiating with clients, organizing and managing income and expenses, as well as understanding and complying with tax laws and regulations. The chapter will also discuss the importance of creating a budget, tracking expenses and managing cash flow. Managing finances and taxes can be a tricky aspect of freelancing, but with the right strategies, it can be manageable. So stay tuned for the next chapter where we will be sharing tips and strategies for managing finances and taxes as a freelancer.